All right, you ready? Yep. Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we are going to be tasting dub. <laughs> today we are going to be tasting Dubco IPA, and it's brewed by Destination Unknown Brewing Company out of Bayshore, New York. Unknown. It's uh, an IPA. So please stick around. Music. Here we are with Bayshore, New York's Beer of the Year, Duco IPA. IPA. It could be Duco. Shout know. out to New York. Yeah, hitting the East Coast beers. This is a 6.1 ABV. And uh, let's bust this thing yeah, open. Yeah, let's try this monkey. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. So New York City rocks, no doubt. If you don't know, oh, if you've absolutely. never been there. Had the New York Dolls from there. Had the Ramones, Blondie. Great flavor in the city. A wonderful experience. You gotta go. And then, of course, Kiss. And Kiss. Yeah. And Deep. Twisted Sister. Yeah. We could probably sit here and name a whole bunch of them from there. Riot. Nobody talks about Riot, but I we love loved Riot. Riot. They were Riot. outstanding. Riot. And Riot. Uh, no, not Quiet Riot, which uh, we like them too. Riot but with the white Riot. seal. Riot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that has a nice color. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That is a nice it's hazy. It's a nice hazy dark color. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that uh, has a nice look citrusy Look at all the little bubbles on the color. bottom hanging out. Yeah, I'm getting the, the grapefruit. Mm hmm. Yeah, grapefruit scent. Very, very citrusy. I'm going to say cheers, and you're already cheers. slamming down your beer. <laughs> I can't wait that long. <laughs> mm. Nice mouthfeel. It's a little heavier. Yeah. Um, nice yeah, medium like, like, to heavier bo body mouthfeel. Good job, New York. Yeah, that, good that job, is. Good job, guys. This is really a, good. Yeah, that is really good. And it's got a nice little sweet finish. Dupco, Bayshore, New York. If we are over that way, we will come by, guys. Good beer, really good. Yeah, they had this at our local um, tap house, and we bought one of them in the fridge. And I said, "Hey, let's try this from New York because we don't see too many New York beers." But that is—it's really nice, real nice IPA. It's not harsh at all. It's—it's it's very smooth. Yeah, but it's, it's got a really—if you're an IPA lover, you'll like this. It's got yeah. a nice fruity taste. Yeah, it's got a lot of. Um, peach and nectary notes, you kind of taste it, the sweetness down your throat. It's very good. You know what I'm also getting? I'm getting some uh, hints of caramel notes out of this as well. The more that it's opened up now, yeah. as always we say beers change when you let them set a little bit and get open air to them. It is changing, and then yeah. you get a little more of a richness and a caramel, which I really like that. In yeah. when they open up a little bit more. Because when they're really cold, it it kind of stifles some of the flavors. So yeah. let it sit a little bit, and look, now it's coming out. Yeah, it's refreshing yeah. when it's cold. It's refreshing. Which is very nice. But, but those flavors really yeah, come out. Yeah, you don't really get the flavor profiles mm -hmm. you do as it opens up, as while it's been sitting there a little mm -hmm. bit, then it like, just Even like really, a wine. Yeah, you can really taste yeah. Things start to, to come out more and more um, citrus yeah. notes, orange, uh, slight tangerine, mm -hmm. and uh, also yeah, more grapefruit. Orange. So um, experiment a little bit when you try a beer. Um, drink some right away and then let it sit a little bit while you're talking or visiting or checking your phone or whatever and then taste it again and you'll see the difference, how it changes and the flavors you get. It's fun. It's a fun experience. So don't just down your beers. Think about them oh, and enjoy them. You're the one to say don't down your beers. I don't down them. <laughs> when we do, when we get a flight. I do you not. You finish them before I do. Well, I'm tasting them and thinking about them. And he'll wine. Say, He'll milk them for a long time. Well, yeah, I want to taste them. Well, I taste them and I have to revisit them to continue to taste them. <laughs> and what about wine tastings? What's your excuse about Same that? Same thing. I When I taste it, I want to taste it. And then I'll talk about it a little bit and then I'll taste it again. I can't let it sit too long because I want to taste it as it changes that way. I don't let it sit that long. I do not down them. She people. slams them. I do no, I do <laughs> no way do that. 
<laughs> what would you say on the tasty meter? I would say it's got those like passion fruit flavor too. Yeah, it does have a passion fruit flavor as well. Very good. On the tasty meter of one to five, I would give this one a 4.3. And see, I would go a four. All right, because we can never agree on anything. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> no, but we do agree, but you know, yeah, we, we, are, we have our good. own flavor, taste on things, so that's good, but it's it's very good. Yeah, it's really good. I would good. buy this again if I saw it. If I saw it on a tap somewhere, I'd definitely try whatever they're going to make next. Yeah, that'd be fun to go out to the East Coast and yeah. just hit all kinds of uh, microbreweries. Go. I know what well, we did in Georgia and we did in Virginia, but we haven't gone beer tasting in New York. Nope, but we will. So we have to make it there. Yeah. Boston, most definitely. Yep. The COVID prevented us, but now, you know, we've been vaccinated and we're ready to go. That We're ready to be turned loose. We're ready to be turned loose. The goose is on the loose. <laughs> if you like this sort of content, please subscribe and hit the like button. And send us a message. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, drop a message. And if you have any beers you would like us to try, send them our way. Send us a message. We'll give you an address. And we would love to review Do your beer. Do a beer tasting. Yep. We'll taste your beer, review it. It's fun to try something different that we can't find everywhere. So send us something. Yeah, I like the, the beer we tried from Brewery 602. The, those were amazing, though. Both beers he sent us were absolutely amazing. Yeah, those are great and beers. Yeah, whatnot. Yeah. That and Marcus. availability. I'd imagine that uh, you'd be able to find this in wherever you find your craft beers. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and don't forget to stay metal. No. Why? I'm quit. <laughs> I quit this job. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, now we can watch them and see how they are. I don't slam them. I enjoy them, and I think about them, and I talk about them.